guys for those of you that don't know me i'm sarah welcome to indigo senses so today on this video i'm going to share a really simple easy recipe that's really alkaline almost alkaline dr savi approved the reason i say that is there's little things that aren't very accessible here in melbourne victoria well i haven't found them anyway such as key limes don't know where to find key limes and just little tiny things but an alkaline diet is something that i've incorporated into my plant-based whole food way of living and without even realizing incorporated it even more and i just find you feel really great from it i personally feel amazing from it whenever i put acidic foods into my body or processed foods alcohol coffee i feel it i feel it mentally physically on all levels so i just want to share a little bit about my journey with trying to become more alkaline and using the dr sabi nutritional guide um so i would say me and my household are probably i don't know 95 percent i i'd probably say my weaknesses is sometimes i like a drink and coffee coffee is a big one i've given it up plenty of times but it just takes that one relapse to drink that coffee again and then you're back on the wagon i have definitely found over over my years that i i become more conscious of what i put into my body so sometimes when i am having that drink i go hmm maybe this isn't going to make me feel so mentally or physically good the next day so i'm a little bit more aware of how much or if i want to put that into my body just becoming a little bit more conscious one thing i'm a massive massive believer in is that anything that you have not made physically yourself that comes in a packet i i just don't i don't like to eat it it doesn't make me feel good it doesn't make me feel my best version if it comes in a packet and it's been processed and made in a factory it's probably not going to be great for you in the long run it doesn't make you feel as alive as as what you could be it doesn't matter what it is whether it's it's a vegan mock meat whether it's a whatever rather than i guess me personally rather than eating a block of tofu or eating a, a vegan mock meat i would rather make those things out of mushrooms or nuts or or chickpeas i would rather eat something that's gonna fuel me in a better way and not putting all these other additives and nasties not saying that you shouldn't eat those things if you would like to eat those things if that's your plant-based vegan journey and you find that you're fine on that then go ahead and eat them definitely i think it's great that we do have those alternatives so it does help people transition into the more plant plant-based way of living or if you're you want a, a treat you know you're having people over for a barbecue i think they're great but if you can try and minimize that when you're eating a plant-based diet and, and incorporating more alkaline foods more whole foods you're gonna feel a lot better. You're not gonna be lacking anything. You're not gonna be feeling crap all the time. You're gonna be feeling more alive. So I think my message here is just incorporating more plant-based whole foods, alkaline foods, and just more, more alive foods that aren't gonna make your body feel crap. So yeah, this is just gonna be a little bit of a journey of how I incorporate a Dr. Sabi approved alkaline diet into my life and slowly just leveling up. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. Um, we'll get right into the recipe. I'll be posting a recipe every, I'll try and do it every week um, and a bit of a, an update on the alkaline plant-based journey. And yeah, so let us know what you think of this recipe and I hope, everyone likes this video thank you guys bye believe me when i say you have to try this walnut meat it is so so delicious what you're going to want to do now is add your onions oregano salt and just a little bit of water you don't need to use oil so 
let that sizzle up a little bit, make it nice and translucent. You're going to want to put your walnuts in a blender and just pulse them a little bit. Don't do them too fine, just kind of chunky. Add a little bit more water to deglaze the pan. Add your capsicum, zucchini. Get everything a little bit soft. Add your tomatoes, that's going to make it all nice and saucy. And your walnuts, the walnuts will absorb everything like a sponge. So now you're going to add cayenne pepper, onion powder, more oregano, a little bit of paprika and some water. So the water is going to help everything absorb into the walnut meat. All right, so put that on a low heat and just let it all cook away. And once it's nice and soft and juicy, you've got your walnut meat. Now we're going to make our basil tahini sauce. So add your tahini to a blender, add your orange juice and your lime juice. Add some water, basil, onion powder, salt and blend up. Now here I made it too thin but that's okay. Add some more tahini and add some more basil. Alright blend it till it's nice and creamy. Taste it and then go ahead and pour it in a jar. Now for the two ingredient flatbread. So this is a spelt flatbread. So all you're going to need is some spelt flour, some warm water and just mix it all up till a nice firm dough forms. You can get fancier and add herbs to this. You can add onion powder. You can add whatever you want to it. I just kept it really plain and simple. So knead it as you would any other dough and get ready to divide it so this one I divided into four so this was just one cup of spelt flour to half a cup of water roll your dough out into a nice flat flat bread all right so once that's rolled out put in a pan and you'll start to see it puff up like you see it here so when it starts to puff up, that's when you kind of know it's time to flip it. You don't need oil in the pan. So the secret to getting the flatbread really nice and foldable is wrapping it up in a tea towel. Usually I kind of leave it for about five to 10 minutes or so, or usually it just kind of happens while I'm cooking the other flatbreads. So on our flatbread, we put the walnut meat, we put some quinoa, our basil tahini sauce, some kale, some avocado, it was so delicious and they're so so filling you feel great after it you don't feel sluggish and it's all almost alkaline hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give us a like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye